on my way to school. Every day on our way to school, we cross many different kinds of trees and vehicles, hear the chirping of birds, along with a variety of other sounds, pass many known and unknown people, and see many diverse scenes and sights. Every day, through our experiences as we come to school, we learn many new things. Meena usually observes the streets, the buses, the market, etc. when she goes to school. Routes we travel by. We choose a definite direction to reach a place. This is how other creatures do it too. Here is a bird. How does it find its way to its nest? Are there any landmarks that help it find its way? Here are two monkeys. How do they move in the forest in search of food? Do the trees in the forest look like pathways for the monkeys? Fish move in groups in the sea, river, lake or pond. Are there paths in the water that they see and swim on? How can you find the way from your home to school? When people move from one place to another, they use different roads. There are single walker footpaths. There are mud roads on which bullock carts move. And tar roads connect bigger places like towns, cities and villages. National highways connect different states and cities in India. We can remember any route by the different places we cross on our way there. Everybody in a village, town or city has an address or a way by which they tell everyone exactly where they live. This address is also called a postal address because it helps the postman to bring the letters to your home. It is important to remember your postal address because it will help you to find your way back if you are lost. A warning. It is important to be safe at all times on our way to the school. Later on, we will learn the road rules and how to follow them. On your way to school, do not speak to strangers and take the gifts or sweets they give. It is fun to think in what other ways we can write our address. You could say, for instance, that you live in a green colored house close to a huge neem tree. Or you might say that your neighbor's balcony has many fragrant rose plants or a bird's nest. Remember, your home is a place that you can touch, hear, see and smell. There is another easy way of telling your friend how to come to your house by using your right and left hand. If you turn towards your right hand side, then you say, I am turning to my right. If you turn towards your left hand side, then you say, I am turning to my left. To make sure 
that you are giving the right directions to your home here is another interesting game that you can play with your friend it is called a mirror game stand facing each other if you are a then your friend is b imagine that your friend is a mirror image lift your right hand up which hand will your friend lift up touch your left ear which ear will your friend touch you can now direct your friend by saying turn right then turn left after the level crossing and walk straight my flat is in the third building on the right like you kalai also studies in class 3 and she walks to school every day with her friends megala and aisha today it is raining kalai is carrying an umbrella as she and her friends walk along the pond they hear the frogs croaking they see an egret kalai jumps like a frog megala tries to fly like an egret i have seen this bird sitting on the cow's back says kalai now it is not raining says aisha as the sun comes out they see their shadows in front of them they all run as they run they try to step on their shadows but they cannot aisha says I can step on your shadow but I can't step on mine. Can you say why? As I move my shadow also moves. After crossing the pond there is a beautiful field and an INR statue on the way. They now cross an orchard. It is full of mango trees. I like to eat mangoes, says Kalai. A small dog joins them for a while. They now come to the tar road. They see a bus. Samir is in it. Along the road, they see a small shop. Near the shop, There is a zebra crossing. They carefully wait till the road is clear and then they cross the road. After that, they turn right into a small lane and they are in front of their school gate. As they enter, they hear their school bell ringing. fill in the blanks when people move from one place to another they use different roads national highways connect different states and cities in india postal address will help you find your way back if you are lost on your way to school do not speak to strangers The postal address helps the postman to bring the letters to your home. Additional questions. What kind of roads connect different states and cities in India? The national highways connect different states and cities in India. How can we remember the route we go? We can remember any route by the different places we cross on our way there. What is an address? Everybody in a village town or city 
has an address or a way by which they tell everyone exactly where they live. This is called an address. What is called the postal address? The address which helps the postman to bring letters to your home is called a postal address. Why is it important to remember the postal address? It is important to remember your postal address because it will help you to find your way back if you are lost. What shouldn't we do when we go to school? On our way to school, do not speak to strangers and take gifts or sweets that they give. Is there any other way of telling how your friend can reach your home? Yes, by using our right and left hand, we can tell our friend how to reach our home. With whom did Kalai go to school every day? Kalai walked to school every day with her friends Megala and Aisha. What did Kalai carry when she goes to school? An umbrella. What did Kalai and her friends hear when they walked along the pond? Kalai and her friends heard the frogs croaking when they walked along the pond. Who jumped like a frog? Kalai. Who tried to fly like an egret? Mekala. When the sun came out, what did they see? Shadows. What did Kalai and her friends see when they crossed the pond? After crossing the pond, they saw a beautiful field and an Ayanar statue on the way. Who joined Kalai and her friends for a while? A small dog. Who was in the bus? Samir was in the bus. Where is the zebra crossing? The zebra crossing is near the shop. Where did Kalai and her friends see mango trees? When Kalai and her friends crossed an orchard, they saw mango trees. When did the school bell ring? As Kalai and her friends entered the school, they heard the school bell ringing. Know your direction. Kavita and her friend Muller lived in opposite houses on the same road. They were studying in the same school in class 3. Both of them walked to school together every day and were good friends. They were learning about directions in their social science class. On the way to school that day, Kavita and Muller had a heated argument about whether they had to turn to the left or to the right to go to their school. We have to turn to the left. I know it, said Kavita. No, said Muller. We have to turn right. They kept arguing all the way to the school. In school, they waited eagerly for their teacher. 
The moment she entered the class, they ran to her and told her of their confusion. You both are correct, said the teacher, smiling. Can you guess why? In class, the teacher said, Let us play a small game. You play it too. The teacher asked the children to stand up. She asked, What do you see in front of you? I see the blackboard. Now turn to your left. What do you see? I see the window. Turn to your left. What do you see? I see the wall. Turn to your left again. Now what do you see? I see the class entrance. Turn to your left again. You have made a full circle around yourself, said the teacher. When you get up in the morning, can you see where the sunlight comes from? That direction is the east. In the evening, look at where the sunlight comes from. That direction is the west. This helps us to find out in which direction we are moving. There are four main directions. They are north, east, south and west. The sun helps us to find the directions. Learn the cardinal directions. Stand facing the sun in the morning. We face east and behind us is west. Our right hand points towards the south and our left hand towards the north. These directions don't change wherever we go on earth. Remember this and you will never be lost, said the teacher smiling. Always check the time of day to be correct in telling the direction. Kavita now understood the four cardinal directions. We both turn north to come to school, said Kavita. If both Kavita and Malar are to turn to the north to come to school, Kavita had to turn left and Malar had to turn to the right. Can you say in which direction their houses face? Kavita's house faces west direction. Malar's house faces east direction. Directions tell us where specific places are located. From your home, walk towards the west and then towards the north, you will find the park. From your home, walk towards the north, you will reach the market. From your home, if you walk towards the east and then turn towards the south, you will find the nursery. If you go towards the south from your home, you will find the fancy store. To the west of the fancy store, you will find the school and the police station to the east of the fancy store. Mariner's Compass Directions are very important for sailors. This sense of direction guides the sailor to his destination even in fog, 
or rain. Sailors use an instrument called a compass to find directions while sailing. The needle of the compass always points towards the north. Here is a story for you. To the north of Mayanur village, there is a small forest. To the east of that forest, there is a small pond. Different kinds of birds live near the pond with their young ones. There are crows, cranes, kingfishers, pelicans and many more. During summer, the pond dried up gradually. All the birds gathered together and had a discussion about what they could do. An old kingfisher said, There is a tank to the south of Mayanur. That tank never dries up. We can all go there. A crow said, Do not go there. It is crowded already. A crane said, I remember there is a beautiful river. With my friends, I will find out where it is and we can all go there. The crane and his friends flew to the west and saw the river from a distance. There were green fields and many trees. The birds came back and gave the happy news to all the other birds. They all flew to the riverside and spent the summer peacefully. Fill in the blanks. In the morning, the sunlight comes from the east. The sun helps us to find the directions. Stand facing the sun in the morning. We face east and behind us is west. Sailors use an instrument called compass to find directions while sailing. The needle of the compass always points towards the north. Additional questions Who lived in the opposite houses on the same road? Kavita and her friend Muller lived in the opposite houses on the same road. For whom are Muller and Kavita waiting? For their teacher. Which direction is east? The direction where the sun rises in the morning is east. What direction is west? The direction where the sun sets in the evening is west. What are the four main directions? North, South, East and West are the four main directions. What helps us to find the directions? The sun. What direction does Kani take when she goes to school? South. What is to the west of the school? Playground. In which direction does Kavita and Muller turn to come to the school? They turn north. What do directions tell us? Directions tell us where specific places are located. What guides a sailor? To his destination even in fog 
or rain. The sailor's sense of direction guides his destination even in fog or rain. What instrument did the sailors use for finding directions? Compass Which direction does the compass always point to? North When did the pond dry up? The pond dried up gradually during summer. Why did the birds gather together? All the birds gathered together to have a discussion of what they could do. Where is the forest located? The forest is located in the north of Mayanur village. What is located to the south? Of Mayanur village. The tank. Where is the river located? The river is located to the west of Mayanur village.